A four-star Air Force general told his troops that the U.S. and China will be at war in 2025, and the entire international defense industry reacted. This comes shortly after a new think tank study concluded that the U.S. defense industry is unprepared for a conflict with China. Do you think we'll be at war with China in the next two years? Tell me in the comments section below. General Mike Minahan, who leads the Air Force's Air Mobility Command, sent out a memo noting that both Taiwan and the U.S. are having elections in 2024. General Minahan pointed out that China could make a move while we are politically distracted. He said that his gut tells him that we'll be at war with China in 2025. He told his commanders that they have until February 28th to tell him how they're going to prepare for that conflict. The Defense Department emphasized that General Minahan was speaking only for himself and that this isn't necessarily the Pentagon's assessment. However, Republican Congressman Mike Gallagher, who will be leading the China Select Committee, applauded General Minahan, saying, we need to take our adversaries at their word when they threaten their neighbors. Likewise, House Foreign Affairs Committee Chairman Republican Michael McCall said he agrees with the general's prediction. He believes that China will try to influence the elections in Taiwan, and then, if the CCP doesn't like the outcome, they're going to consider invading Taiwan. House Armed Services Committee Ranking Member Democrat Adam Smith disagreed. He said, I want to be completely clear. It's not only not inevitable, it's highly unlikely. The Republican and Democrat agreed on one thing, though. The U.S. defense industry is unprepared for a protracted war with China. The Center for Strategic and International Studies, or CSIS, has just completed a study that found that the U.S. would run out of long-range, precision-guided munitions and other weapons in less than a week if a conflict happened. Representative McCall agreed with the report, saying, Our defense industrial base is broken. Representative Adam Smith concurred, saying, We don't have the industrial base, and we don't have the ability to ramp up that industrial base. The study concluded that the U.S. is running low on Javelin anti-armor systems, Stinger anti-aircraft systems, 155mm howitzers, 155mm artillery rounds, and counter-artillery radars. The CSIS authors said these shortages are not because of our aid to Ukraine. Most of the weapon systems we provide Ukraine are not the ones we'd use in a conflict with China. In fact, the authors urged aid to Ukraine to continue, believing it would help deter China from initiating a conflict. Do you expect a war with China in the next two years? Let us know in the comments section. I'm Ryan Morrow for American Military News. Thanks for watching.